Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete the vast majority of personal information off of your Windows 7 machine um, and any traces that remain should just be uh, where you installed a program and it might have grabbed your name or something like that um, but in terms of your pictures, your documents, your internet uh, history, all of that stuff should be gone. So if that's a good enough uh, clean for you then that's what we're about to show you how to do, okay? So, um, which is a great way to give away or sell your computer with the assurance that, you know, your tax information or whatever is not sitting there. So let's click on the Start button and go to the Control Panel. And we're going to go uh, make sure that your View By is set to Small Icons and then go into User Accounts. So the idea here is that uh, you will have one or more accounts. In this case, we have an account called Owner. That is the historic account for this computer. And if you have a family and you have several family members and each have their own account, you may have a full list here. But um, the idea here is that we're going to create a new user that is an administrator. And that uh, will go into that account. And from that account, we'll delete all the other accounts. And when you delete an account, you have the option to delete the files that go along with it. Um, so, of course, make sure that before you do any of this, you've backed up all of your important information to another hard drive or system, right? And because everything's going to be gone. So, uh, but the idea is that as you delete each, you know, current account from the new account, all of the history and the documents, the desktop, the photos, everything will be gone. Right. So let's click on manage another account to start creating the account and we'll actually click here where it says create a new account. Very important step here, don't forget it, is to make sure that the new user is an administrator. Right. You won't have the power to delete the other accounts if it isn't and on top of that of course if it's not an administrator account it's not going to have enough credentials to do you know basic tasks for the new owner. So uh, now if you're giving the computer away to somebody that you know, you can put their name within where it says new account name. But otherwise, choose something generic like PC owner and then click on create account. So here you'll see, you know, the guest account, which is turned off and uh, by default generally. Uh, you can't delete that account, by the way. So if your guest account is turned on, you'll want to log into it and delete any information that guests may have left in there. Okay? Uh, most people won't have to worry about that. Um, now the uh, next step here is that we're going to have to restart the machine so that we're logged into the PC owner account because you can't delete an account that you're in, right? That's active. So, um, so let's do that step. We will click on start, go to the shutdown options with the little arrow here and we'll click on restart. Now, uh, what's happened here, I didn't actually expect, but uh, it's good that it did because uh, I can help you deal with it if it happens to you. Uh, the system automatically went back into the original account. It didn't give me the options to uh, go into the new account. So, And that's because at one time this machine was set to log in automatically. So let's turn that off. Uh, in case this has happened to you, you'll need to do this step. So we're going to click on Start, and we're going to type in NetPL whiz and then we're going to hit enter and we'll get this little user accounts uh, options window here and we want to select users must enter a username and password to use this computer so now we'll go and click OK and restart the machine and then we'll get the uh, proper selections. 
Okay, so now this is what we were expecting and looking forward to the initial time that we restarted. So we have the original account called owner that we want to delete and the new account called PC owner that uh, we want to be active and the only account when we get the computer away. So let's go ahead and click on there. And because it's never been used, it'll take a bit longer to jump in here than normal because uh, it's, as you see, preparing the desktop, etc. This is the first run of the account, so there's a little bit of setup that Windows has to do. Okay, now here we are in the new account, and we can confirm that by clicking on the Start button, and we'll see that it says PC Owner in the top right-hand corner. All right, so we want to go back into the control panel, and here, once again, you want to go to view by, make sure that you're on small icons. All right. Then we can go to user accounts. And we'll see our main account here, the main account being now the new account. And we want to click here where it says manage another account. Here's where we see a full list of all the accounts. Now, for each account that you want to uh, delete, you're going to click on that account and then choose delete the account. And uh, you're going to be prompted. Do you want to keep owner's files? Right. Once again, just make sure that you've backed up your stuff before you do this step. Uh, but assuming that that's all in order, we're going to click on delete files. And then it's going to ask to confirm. Are you sure you want to delete owner's account? You're going to click on delete account. Now, um, the account is gone here, and that happened very quickly, um, in large part because there are very, very few files on this machine. This is sort of like a, a testing and video machine, uh, video recording type uh, virtual machine that I have set up. But uh, what I'll warn you about is that uh, when you hit that delete account button, um, that can take quite a long time. All right, so uh, don't be surprised if this, the window just sits there without responding uh, for an hour or more. You know, it could be several hours, all right, because it's actually got to go through the hard drive, and there may be thousands and thousands of files simply just in your uh, in the internet history, for example, and it can take quite a long time to delete those. So, so just let don't think that it's stopped or you know, hung or whatever. Just let the computer do its job, leave the computer on, and and let it work at it until that uh, account is actually deleted. And of course, for any additional accounts, follow the same process. Okay, now um, we can pop out of the uh, this part of the control panel. Let's go at the top, they have the breadcrumb here. Let's go to all control panel items. And I'll just show you another area that you may want to clean up, which is under Programs and Features. And the idea here is that any software that you have running here that uh, is personally licensed to you, uh, and you don't want the license to be on the machine that you're giving away or selling, um, so that you can set that same license up on your new uh, system, whatever you've got, probably a Windows 10 machine, right? So. Um, just make sure that you've deleted anything. Like for example, here um, we might want to take away Team Viewer. So I'll click on Team Viewer and I'll click on Install. I'll click Remove Settings. In this case, you won't always have that option. Depend the, depending on the software you're uninstalling, this process will be a bit different. But I'll go ahead and click on Install and uninstall that. And that's completed. And um, see if there's anything else here this is a very short list that looks pretty clean so so that's an important step um, now this is just some uh, prompts because this is a new user let's just close that's Internet Explorer popping up and asking questions so um, another thing that you want to make sure of because uh, you may have had information outside of your user account folders that was personal. So let's go ahead and click on the File Explorer. I'll expand that and go to Computer. All right, and um, 
you know, generally drive C is the main system drive. Uh, if you have a, say, a data drive, like a D data drive, um, that is not likely to have been affected by uh, what we've just done. So you may want to uh, clear or actually even format something like a data drive, any additional drives on your system uh, to make sure that they're completely empty, right? And uh, to format a drive, although I want to actually format this drive here, but you can right click on the drive in this view and click on format, okay? Uh, as you see here, you cannot format this volume because it's the system volume, but a data drive wouldn't give you that prompt and you'd be able to format the drive. All right, so but let's go into drive C and what we're going to look for here is any folders that contain personal information uh, that were outside of this user's folder, which is the default place where they would be and where they would have been largely deleted from. Right. So so we actually do have in this case on this system, there is this service folder, which I create and I put uh, you know, uh, files related to maintaining the computer, etc. And some of that sometimes contains personal information. So, so what I can do is right click on that folder and then uh, I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit delete. And when you hold down the shift key, it, it's going to permanently delete the folder as opposed to putting it in the recycle bin. Because it's in, if it's in the recycle bin when you give or sell the computer, of course, it is um, going to be uh, available for someone to restore and, and browse through, right? So we want to permanently delete it. We're going to say yes to the prompt, and then that folder's gone. So uh, there's no way to, for me to tell you which folders uh, you might need to delete. Um, it, if nothing else, just go through any folders that you suspect may contain personal information and, um, you know, delete them if needed, right? And then the other thing is you may want to go into users and just confirm that uh, that the only um, folders visible are, uh, you know, the sort of the default system ones like uh, public and the new account that you have. Now, um, let's go to organize here, folder and search options. We'll go to view and we'll say uh, show hidden files, folders and drives. Okay, so that's going to make sure uh, that you're actually seeing everything, right? So default is a normal uh, folder to have here, and it's very unlikely to have any personal information of yours, right? PC owner is the new user that we've created, so it won't have anything of yours. Now, um, public is another matter, however. So you do want to go into the public uh, user folder and explore these uh, areas to make sure that um, nothing was saved in there, uh, personal of yours. Uh, often, say, for example, uh, Sage uh, 50, uh, simply accounting type of software, uh, will um, put important files uh, containing financial information, for example, in this area. So that's naturally something that you don't want to happen. So just make sure that you go through like public documents here, um, Again, we can use the breadcrumb. You, if you click the little arrow here, you can kind of cycle through them. So, you know, we check favorites, check libraries, uh, the desktop, right? These are just icons, so we don't have to worry about those. Documents again here, downloads, right? So this is looking uh, good and empty, but you do want to go through uh, these folders and just make sure that uh, nothing personal of yours has made its way uh, into them, okay? And then um, other than that, uh, you should be done, right? So um, once again, this is not a guarantee to completely take 100% of every trace of your name, etc. For example, the computer itself, the Windows operating system um, may still be registered to your name, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the the fact that you were the previous owner um, may at some times, uh, you know, pop up for the new owner, right? Um, but if you're happy enough with, uh, you know, that very low level of uh, information being released into the world, and you just want to give this to a grandkid or, or 
or sell it off and you don't care if your name shows up on it now and then, then uh, this is a quick and easy way to clear off all personal information. Hopefully this helped you out. Thank you for watching.